Barbara, it's been a truly wonderful year working with you. Dean and I are connecting on a level I didn't even know was possible. We're like Siamese twins. <laughs> but I say all of this to say that I, um, we think we are in a place to move on past therapy. Right, Dean? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's time. There's no need for Siamese twins to be in therapy. Well, I'm sure there are a lot of reasons for actual Siamese twins, but no reason for people as close as Siamese twins that aren't physically Siamese twins. <laughs> Can you still say Siamese twins? I'm not sure, Dean, but I'm really happy for you. I love to help, but I'm always delighted to hear when my clients are ready to move beyond my practice. In fact, a couple just last month told me the same thing. They actually called to schedule an appointment for next week. I think they missed me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that we'll miss you too, but I figure we need to leave the nest at some point. Take flight. We actually got a little cottage in Nantucket for the summer. Oh, wow, Cape Cod, all that fresh air. That'll be wonderful for the children. Oh, we, we actually don't have any kids. I know. We talked about this. Erica doesn't like children. I clearly need my coffee. I don't see why we need to bring that up right now. I know. Simply a slip of the brain. I remember all those sessions with Dean talking about how much he liked children, and I got terribly confused whether or not you had any or not. My apologies. Yeah, we still don't. Maybe in a few years. Uh, we do have a dog, Bowser. Children just don't fit in our plans at the moment. We're working on us, right, Dean? Right. I and you have time to do that, even with your promotion? I remember Dean expressed that work was pulling you away. We'll figure it out, but it's just definitely not the right time. Yeah, perhaps when things are a bit more stable. Are you waiting for Dean to find a new job first, if I may ask? Are you purposefully trying to bring up our issues, if I may ask? Oh, I didn't mean to. Is Dean's job hunt becoming a problem? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm looking for a job, Erica. No one's hiring. There's no problem. You seem to think there was a moment ago. It's just been a while. I can't do anything about being laid off, Erica. Well, you were fired. It's the same thing. You don't get laid off for smoking weed in a bathroom stall. Well, I'm sorry. Not everybody enjoys their job as much as you do. Most can do it sober. The weed made me a better accountant. I've told you this. I've told her this. <laughs> we have already had this conversation. There's no need to do it again. I'm sorry I brought it up. Thank you. Well, it really has been wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Does it bother you that Erica likes her job so much, Dean? Barbara, we have decided that we can handle this on our own, right, Dean? It does seem sometimes you enjoy the museum more than me. Great expressing, Dean. What do you think of this, Erica? I think you're purposefully trying to bring up our issues and it's pretty fucked up. I'm sorry you're getting upset. I'm simply doing my job as a therapist. Which we no longer want from you. Erica, Jesus, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what we decided, right? I only want to help if you want it. I thought we're doing well. Don't you think we're doing well? When we're connecting. What do you mean by that, Dean? Just that I'm lonely a lot. What about the dog park? I thought you are making friends. Do you like those people, Dean? One or two are fine. Um, I just want to be with you, though. I can't just quit my job. Well, even when you're home, it seems like you're far away. Because you're high. Erica, please listen. Why didn't you say any of this last night? You were excited about leaving, and, and then I was excited. We were connecting. It was nice. Sometimes it's easier to ignore problems than to face them, but eventually they'll come up. When you bring them up. I'm assuming this disconnect has extended into the bedroom? Uh, uh I, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes, like, we're having sex, but you seem to be off thinking about Pablo Picasso or Van Gogh. Other men, that must be hard. It is. It's not sexual, I'm an art historian. Sometimes that's not the point. Isolation in a relationship can be difficult. Have you sought connection elsewhere, Dean? What do you mean by that? I don't know. What do you mean by that? Sometimes we can be pushed away. I was alone all day for months. <laughs> that's not answering the question. Well, that's our time. It's been lovely working with you two, and I hope you have a fabulous summer in the Cape. We're not done here. Dean, did you sleep with somebody? 
I do have other appointments, but we could schedule something for next week if you'd like to explore this further. You are disgusting. You need therapy. Dean, did you have sex with somebody? I walked in fed Bowser every day. After that? I think we could have a much more civilized conversation about this tomorrow. It would, of course, count as a separate rate. But I do have plenty of openings. That doesn't surprise me. What's your availability? No. Tell me now. There was only one. Time? Woman. Jesus. I know this is difficult, but I'm glad it came out here. I have helped clients get through worse. Who? I can't technically tell you my clients' names, but if you can keep a secret. Not you. Dean, who? Karen. Is she in the group at the dog park? Is there even a group at the dog park? Fuck you. You were always thinking about Picasso. Like that's the same thing. Let's not downplay anybody's problems. Let's just all take a deep breath. We can recover from this. It might take two sessions a week, but we can recover. I'm done recovering. A relationship cannot only be recovering. Please, Erica, you two were doing so well. Until you said a couple of words, that's not doing well. I'm so sick of burying my feelings until I can't just tell you to get a goddamn job. Please don't yell, that only hurts the relationship, right, Barbara? So does fucking someone else, right, Barbara? I really think a breath would do wonders. I'm done. What? I'm going to my sister's. Oh, Erica, come on, talk to me for a second. We're like Siamese twins. Except I can leave. I'm sorry, Dean. Thank you. We can view this as a gift, though. What? Erica seemed to be getting in the way of your personal growth. I think you would do amazing in personal therapy. Really? Yeah. It's the same rate, but I think we could make incredible progress. I know this seems difficult, but think of it as the beginning of a wonderful journey. How's Monday? <laughs>